If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have the Team of the Week Week 6 reveal, guys. So, time to see if we got any right from yesterday's predictions. Now, this week was actually kind of a weird week if you guys saw the pre reveal one. So, it's a high likelihood we didn't hit on many of these. I had big expectations for this week and they kind of let me down. But we will get into all that in just a second. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always, guys. Before we head on into this, now, this morning's stream was with uh, was with Madden Mobile Nick. We didn't have a Kralo, which is why you're going to see the guy in the bottom left corner. If you don't know who that is, he runs the Madden Mobile segment for the EA stream. But yeah, that's why that's there. If you're confused, that's not me. Obviously, you guys know that. But let's get into this. So, start with the 85s here. So, first 85, we have Marcus Golden, 85 overall power up expansion, slash, just a good overall for him because, of course, he probably doesn't have that high of a card. 80 speed, 83 excel, 76 strength, 82 tackle, 94 player, 84 player X, sorry, 78 block should set, 86 power move, and 70 finesse move. Decent card, decent speed. Got some good power move. Nothing too special here. Not certainly not gonna be some card that you're really really gonna be using unless you have a cardinal steam team. Or I think he was also on the Giants as well. And one other team, which I can't remember. KJ Osborne, wide receiver for the Vikings, had to believe the OT catch on the um for the game last week, it was either OT or it's a, it was to win the game, I'm pretty sure. 89 speed, 88 jumping, 82 catching, 83 catch and traffic, 85 spec, 81 short, 83 medium, 84 deep. This card isn't actually that bad. I mean, for an 85 overall, he'll have powered up 90 speed uh, with above 80 deep route, above 80 route running in general and catching. That's really not a bad card considering how they usually do these morning cards, but um, that's pretty decent as well. Next, we have Matthew Wright, kicker for the Jags, guys. Now, he did get the overtime, like the not overtime, the last second game winning kick uh, over there in London. He did actually win the game for them. He play, he gave them their first win since 2021 week one, or I should say 2020, 2020, 2021 week one. So last year's week one was the last time the Jaguars won a game. They were on the second longest losing streak in NFL history. So he ended that. And that's good. He's a new kicker for them. He's replacing Lambo, or at least for the time being. But I think that he's going to become the kicker. So he's that guy. 90 kick power, 82 kick accuracy, 71 speed, 78 excel. Decent athleticism, honestly, for a kicker. Uh, the kick power is decent. Nothing special, obviously. We have better ones. Uh, we have CD Lamb. Now, a lot of people are going to be upset about this. Everyone thought that CD Lamb was getting the Team of the Week hero for the week after catching that game winning overtime looking inside cross vert um, last week. But he did not. He did not go ahead and get that card. They did actually end up giving it to someone else. Now, I, I can see why. They were close enough in performance, although CD with the game winner kind of thought. I thought Everyone kind of thought that kind of sealed the deal in terms of the card that he would be receiving here. Now, in terms of CD Lamb, he's needed an upgrade. So he gets an 89 overall card now that he could be powered up and everything. Uh, 90 speed. He'll have 91 speed powered up, 89 jumping, 85 catching, 86 catch and traffic, 88 spec, 88 shore out running. He'll get 84 medium and 85 deep. Decent all around card. I don't think he's going to be going to be meta. Cowboys team teams could probably squeeze him in there, but otherwise, nothing too special yet. We're still going to need another CD upgrade. Luckily, there's only a power up expansion, which does mean that when he gets an actual better card, like, you know, there's still room for more. There's just an 88 overall card. It's nothing too special in terms of stats. Next, we have Jonathan Taylor, who is the one that actually snubbed CD Lamb of his card. Now, I shouldn't call it snub, but this, this card art's actually really cool looking. Uh, 91 speed, 90 excel. 91 agility, 90 carrying, 80 catching traffic, sorry, 80 catching, 91 change of direction, 88 trucking, 91 break tackle. Now, this card's actually super, super well-rounded. 93 overall powered up, guys. He can get up to a 92 speed, 92 change of direction, 92 break tackle, potentially 90 trucking. So, he'll have, like, almost every threshold he can receive. He has power, and he has speed, and he has agility. This card's super well-rounded. It's actually one of the better running back cards in the game. The only thing's going to probably be the speed, where I would think he's, like, one short of a few other guys. But this card's really, really good. I like him. I think he's, like I said, well-rounded. He plays. He's gonna probably play well now, well on next gen. It probably just comes down to his strength and, of course, his uh, weight and everything else like that. Next we have Lem Barney. Lem Barney looks like a cornerback for the Lions. Really old picture. Night Train Lane esque old. 92 speed, 92 excel, 93 agility, 91 jumping, 91 play rec, 92, uh, 92 man, 88 zone, 81 press. If that zone was like one high, this card would actually be really, really good. If you can get a strategy card and have to get a zone of plus one, he will get the 90 zone threshold. He will have 93 man with decent enough press. And he gets 93 speed, 93 excel. Pending like height and weight and everything, this card looks actually really, really good. Next, you have Vernon Davis. Now, Vernon Davis is actually one I'm really excited for. 
He has an insane tight end card. 90 speed of tight end. Incredible. 70 strength. Good. Good enough, right? 92 catch, 90 catch in traffic, 91 spec catch. He's going to be an all threshold catcher. 90 short and 92 medium with 73 run blocking. Now, his run blocking is typically better than this. I'm surprised it's as low as it is. He was always like one of those, like in Madden, one of those like really good receiving, but can also really, like, really good at run blocking. It's kind of weird to see, but he gets the short and medium raw route running threshold, and he gets the catching thresholds, and he gets 90 speed. The only thing that I could see here that would be even better is if we see his deep route running and it ends up being like a 90. But remember, Vernon Davis is really good with the ball in his hand, so expect good agility, expect good change of direction, expect good stiff arm, expect good trucking. This card is probably one of the best, if not the best, head end in the game. I really like this Vernon Davis card. Always been a big fan of Vernon Davis and Madden. Always, one, always a guy that I've always had on my team. So I wouldn't likely be picking him up regardless of what the ratings are versus other tight ends. But I really do like this card. I think it's one of the better Team of the Week drops we've had in a while. And then Vernon Butler Jr. LTD for the Panthers. So this does look like an end or a defensive tackle. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't stay on these cards. I don't know why it doesn't. I, I personally don't know the guy. But 75 speed, 87 excel, 92 strength, 93 tackle, 75 play, uh, 75 finesse move, 92 power move, 90 block shed, 90 play rec. In my opinion... Regardless of what position he plays, you want to probably have him at defensive tackle. Um, the speed's a little bit low. I don't think he's good at end with this whole, you know, QB contain and co mobile quarterback stuff that's been going on, right? Like, RPO, like, you definitely don't want him being the guy that chases down the QB. Probably better defensive tackle. We just get the block shit threshold, the finesse with the power move threshold, the player threshold, the tackle strength. And good. And at defensive tackle, he's actually really fast. He's just slow if you want to put him at a guy that has to cover a quarterback, right? So I actually don't mind this card at all. This card's pretty good as well. It's for an early... Wildcard Wednesday flashback reveal with AJ Green. Now, this card actually makes sense. He's been having a little resurgence early beginning of the year, not like by any means Pro Bowl, not by any means like All Pro, none of that, but he is relevant again after a bunch of injuries and a bunch of poor years in the end with, you know, the Bengals and everything that was going on. So it's nice to see him come on here and just really starts to show, like, here's his name again, right? In Red Zone, if you're watching Red Zone, you've heard him score a few touchdowns already, or at least heard him catch a few balls, right? Now, this card actually looks pretty cool. They have him on the Bengals, which I do like to see. I hate, like, when they do, like, veteran rg3 and then put him on the ravens like a, give me a washington football jersey right now this aj green card 91 overall is really good so 92 powered up he has 91 speed 91 jumping 89 catching 88 catch in traffic 91 spec 88 short 89 medium 92 deep this card's actually really good you power him up he will have 92 speed he'll have the 90 catching threshold 89 catch in traffic 92 spec he'll get the 90 medium route running and 93 deep so he's gonna have a deep Route, uh, route running threshold as well as medium now i wish the short was slightly better by one but again strat cards can go ahead and get that done for you if you have like one of the go deep cards that'll probably be deep or medium of course but if you have like a play fake or one of the other ones could help but in terms of catching he's gonna be really really good good speed and i believe he's like six foot three or six foot four so he's gonna be an actually really good card and he can get theme teamed and go on to a cardinals theme team as well so if you're rocking one of those or Bengals, he's your guy but yeah this looks this card was good i mean it was a good day i mean the team of the weeks are pretty good flashback looks pretty good and remember they never really show us the best ones so you imagine there's better ones coming out tomorrow so stay tuned tomorrow for wildcard wednesday but that's about it enjoy the rest of your day guys thank you so much for watching if you're into the channel hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always thank you for watching if you need coins head on down below use code pudo to check out i'm out peace